Monaco is considered by many to be the world capital of yachting, and with good reason. Not only does the Principality offer its guests some of the world's most glamorous venues, As a med-based yacht broker, I do spend a lot of time in and around Monaco. And I have to say, I'm tremendously impressed by the way that they constantly morph and transform according to various requirements. So in May, for example, fresh tarmac is laid, grandstands are erected, and it becomes a Formula One racetrack. In September, blue carpet is put down here, marquees arrive, and Port Hercule becomes a super yacht show. Tennis tournaments are held, a winter village is put up. But this video is to tell you about a tremendously innovative solution they found to a very real challenge. The business that runs the ports of Monaco, called SMIP, was running the two marinas as efficiently as it could, thanks in part to this man, Giambattista. Borea Dolmo, general manager of SMIP and head of Monaco Ports for more than a decade. He recognized that for a business to grow, it has to constantly change. And that doesn't just mean growing in size, it also means finding something different to offer your clientele. An especially challenging problem to satisfy an exclusive and demanding clientele, such as the super yacht owners who frequent Monaco and use SMIP's services. After carefully analyzing the problem and looking at a number of potential acquisitions, he settled on a brand new marina development just a few miles down the coast, but over the border in Italy. I met with Giambattista in his office in Monaco to ask him about the Cala del Forte Marina. El Ventimiglia has some advantages. First of all, it was available, which is not very easy in France at the moment. Uh, was available and uh, there was already a project approved and the concession, a very long-term concession. And that was exactly what we needed. Because, uh, uh, first of all, and it's only seven, nearly 7.6, 7 7.7 .7 miles from Monaco, which is nothing. The second thing, which is very important, uh, the pro as I told you, project approved, but on a very interesting project, perfectly sheltered. And yet a very important thing is that uh, uh, you can start, you can start from zero you do not buy an already running marina, which means changing the culture, uh, modify the management. So you start from zero, so it's up to you to build it correctly and as you want with the standards that we like to have in Monaco. In a certain way, one of our harbors, they have to be run in a certain way like a five-star hotel, I mean, from the welcoming point of view. On the other side, they have to be very professional. The choice of Ventimiglia quite simply could not have been any better. Not only does it lie less than eight nautical miles from the Principality, but it offers something very different indeed from the Monaco experience. Ventimiglia is a hidden gem on the Italian coastline. I must admit that I'm as guilty as many other people who race past this town on their way to Monaco without ever stopping and taking a look around. And filming this video made me realize just what a beautiful place it is. The old town is absolutely charming. And even though I don't normally take the time to look at historic artifacts, I have to admit the old churches here left me in awe and reverence for the depth of their history and the standard of their preservation. Yacht owners and yacht crew will love the opportunity to step back in time and enjoy authentic Italian hospitality in such a charming and relaxing location. It's not just a sleepy seaside town though. 
An old railway line has been converted into a cycling track that leads all the way down the coast to San Remo, and the town itself is just a 45 minute drive to the wonderful ski resort of Limoni. These are really important considerations for a yacht owner who's considering leaving crew on the yacht all year round. Although I should add that with so many crew now living in the south of France, the drive to Ventimiglia is actually no longer than the drive to Monaco anyway. This is Cala del Forte. It's a world apart from Monaco, but in this case, you really can have the best of both worlds since if you do fancy a night of glitz and glamour, you can be in Monaco in your tender in 15 minutes. And since this marina and those marinas are run by the same management company, you can be pretty sure that your trip will go smoothly. Actually, the people responsible at Cala del Forte were very keen to stress to me that this is a very special location in its own right. Let me tell you some of the things that they told me that made me believe that that is the case. Let's start with the shape of the marina itself. A circular marina may not be the most efficient shape to pack in as many yachts as possible, but it is the best shape to protect the yachts from harsh weather since the curved shape softens the impact of strong waves, something that this part of the Med can experience in winter months. Added to that, this innovative system of breakwater rocks has been built around the sea wall so that a seven and a half meter high wall of rocks takes the initial impact of the waves. And then the water, deprived of its energy, will fall into this wide gutter before finally striking the marina walls themselves. Inside, every effort has been made to guarantee a peaceful environment. Some marinas can be plagued by constant traffic from trucks that come to fill up the tanks at the fuel dock or empty the blackwater tanks of the yachts. To prevent this from happening, Cala del Forte have ordered huge fuel tanks for their fuel dock so that they don't need filling up so frequently. But sales and marketing director Jordan War also showed me an interesting feature that I've not seen in many other marinas at all. Discharge points located all around the docks so that each yacht can directly discharge their black water tanks to the dock without having to call a specialist truck or to go 12 miles out to sea. If you're a yacht owner and you're watching this video, you'll know what a nuisance that could be. The layout of the marina has been very well thought out too. Close by the fuel dock, a 2,700 square meter shipyard with a 200 ton travel lift will be located so that many of the yachts staying here can also get winter work and maintenance work carried out. Of the 37 commercial units available, 35 have already been snapped up by a wonderful combination of exclusive high-end brands and authentic high-quality Italian artisans. Activities that can create some level of noise, such as restaurants and bars, are all kept together in one area, and shops and boutiques in another. This is the way that marinas of the future will be built. Fiber cables for ultra high speed internet will be laid. Electric charge ports for electric cars are located in the huge car park, along with over 800 square meters of storage space for the yachts. But mentioning the car park brings me on to another very important feature of this marina development. Anybody who visits Ventimiglia will know how difficult it is to find a parking space in this attractive area of the town. So a rooftop car park will be available to the public so that they can enjoy the wonderful restaurants in the area in and around the spectacular setting of a super yacht marina. A short walk from the marina entrance will also lead to an elevator for easy access to Ventimiglia's charming old town. Now that's something that both yacht owners, yacht crew, and local people from Ventimiglia will really benefit from. Actually, the benefits to the local community will clearly extend far beyond a new car park and an elevator. 
When I spoke to the management at Caladil 40, what maybe impressed me the most was their investment in people. And as I'm filming this video today, they are already training 30 candidates, eight hours a day, five days a week to select the 10 best to work in the marina. It's not just a question of how to handle lines, how to offer assistance. It's also how to have that highly professional approach to welcoming people to what will be a splendid marina development. So the other thing I wanted to, to mention now, it's March the 7th, I think, yeah. today. Um, I was at Caledal 40 last week. I saw a lot of work yeah. going on, a lot of activity going yeah. on. Realistically, when do you expect the work to, to be ready? Listen, we are I, I'm absolutely confident that uh, we will be able to finish works and b before the end of the year, I mean, end of 2019. Regular viewers of my videos will know that I am brutally honest about the cost of buying and then running a yacht. The return on investment in a yacht is measured in smiles and in happy memories, things of great value to your family, but not to your accountants. A birth though, a birth is different. And to be able to get in on the ground floor of a new marina development with 40 year leases with Monaco on the doorstep and run by the same management company. Now that is an opportunity that I wanted to pass on to my viewers when Caladol 40 invited me to do this video. Now, not all of the berths are available for sale. Some will be held back for rental only, some are already sold. But in the 28 meter to 70 meter range, there are some still available. So if you're watching this video and you are thinking of buying a berth, personally, I can hardly think of a better place that I would want to keep my yacht. <laughs> 